Hey, Sam. I have some new info you should hear. Recently recovered thanks to your efforts to expand the chiral network. It, um, it concerns BBs. I dug this up on my own, just to be clear. No one ordered me to look. And if anyone asked, put it all on me. No need for you to deal with any blowback. You were just listening to me ramble on the wire, okay? Anyway, it looks like Bridges wasn't the first to bring back BB Tech. It was a group of separatists. Terrorists opposed to UCA expansion, according to the records. They started using them about three years ago. Right around the time Bridges 1 was putting plans in place to head west. Seems these separatists were having trouble with BTs too. And figured that if they could track them, they might be able to steer them into our path. When Bridges caught wind of this, the decision was made to fight fire with fire to start using BBs as a countermeasure. It's possible yours was commissioned for that very purpose, a fact I think someone may have tried to conceal, judging by the absence of BB-28 service record. I always found it strange that we were so willing to utilize technology we barely understood. Now we know why. We've been aping methods and techniques employed by others from the start. There's more you should know. It's about the original Bridge Baby experiments. Piecing together what little I could find, it looks like they started around the time of the Death Stranding. They were conducted on the island of Manhattan off the East Coast, which was completely and utterly obliterated by what was almost certainly a void out. Back then, these experiments had the full support and approval of the American government. It's all just guesswork, but I suspect the BB program was conceived to help gain a better understanding of the nature of the Death Stranding. However, due to ethical and safety concerns, public opinion was strongly against the program. Still, they pressed on, and in their desperation to make sense of the greatest disaster of their age, I think they caused another. I should also mention that the president himself was killed in the blast. It was after his death, when he was succeeded by then Vice President Strand, that the experiments were suspended by executive decree. Documents were shredded, facilities were decommissioned, and every effort was made to pretend that BBs had never even existed. Which begs the question how some random separatist group was capable of resurrecting the tech decades later. I'll let you know if I turn up anything in lightning. Sam, check the delivery terminal and review the list of orders. city have a pressing problem that needs to be addressed. A tar-like substance has been bubbling up from beneath the ground near them. They're seeing more of it by the minute, and it won't be long before it spreads into the city. There have already been reports of ejecta inside the outer walls. If nothing is done, the whole city might be swallowed by a sea of tar in the near future. There's an order from Mount Nut City. Check the details on the delivery terminal.
Be advised, Sam. The case for that antimatter bomb, the magnetic traps that keep the antimatter, a powerful impact, reckless driving, any abnormalities detected with it. If it goes off, and if the bomb goes off, the kind we...
Hmm. 